Java Balls! Hey friends, all right. So here I am with absolute catastrophe. <laughs> it is terrible. Uh, my display board, um, it, it's a failure. My, my precipice of ball has gone over the precipice. So uh, what happened here? Um, let, let, me, let me show you a couple of things here. So here it is, let me zoom out. Uh, yeah, here she is. So, you know, it might not look awful from where you are in, in its stages, but here's, you know, I was really actually kind of pleased with the precipice part, with the skulls inset. Uh, at this point, it just needs a little sanding down, and it'll look fine when I paint it. But the issue here was the 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 piece I had, the the, the, the thing I was so proud of, the, the Tyranid running through. Uh, the fact of it is that the piece itself is just too big and massive and unwieldy. Uh, it's a really cool little gimmick, but um, it's just not going to do what I wanted it to do. I was trying to sculpt a Tyranid Spire, and um, I realized after only about five minutes of working with this that it just wasn't going to work. Um, at least not in the time I have left to prepare for this thing. Uh, I counted, you know, I just did a rough estimate, and I, I'm giving myself only a couple of hours of work. And if maybe if I had a couple of days of time to devote to sculpting this thing and making it look good, I might be able to pull it off. Um, I know I, I could sculpt it, um, but it's just when I have to do a, a, a inventory of the time I have available, uh, I had to just pull the plug. So the plug, the plug has been pulled. Um, it makes me sad, but uh, maybe some other time. So I'm still going to recover the cart. I'm going to pull all this stuff off it. And uh, I can't recover the lighting. I glued it all in, so it's just a mess. So um, it's time to go to uh, plan two. So here's what I want to show you. Uh, the question is, I guess, why a display board at all? Um, I know years and years ago, um, I caught on to while going, and I've talked about this many times way back in the day. Uh, I caught on that at, at tournaments, there's a lot of points to be had through a good looking army. And uh, I ended up winning some grand tournaments based, you know, in part on, on my painting. Um, a well painted army, uh, along with uh, uh, some solid games, and it was a winning combination, you know, time and again. So I realized very early that a display board really mattered. Not many people had them. They were walking around with buckets, you know, boxes with their miniatures or, or army transports, you know, from table to table, putting their stuff in, pulling it out. And then I started just kind of working with little simple display boards. My all-time go-to is simple little cork boards. This one you can get at Staples or on uh, Amazon, whatever. Uh, this one is at uh, about... 23 by 17 outer dimensions. Uh, they're really nice because they're super lightweight and they come framed already so it looks pretty good. Uh, I had my initial ones, I actually framed them myself until I, I uh, caught on to the, the bulletin board kind of look. So, you know, uh, they, they can score you a lot of points and um, they started really working for me. So then after a little while, it didn't take long for Games Workshop to kind of standardize it when they came out with Armies on Parade and they came up with the 24 by 24 uh, inch display board and that, you know, I'm not claiming to have been the one to create the idea of the display board but definitely an early uh, adopter of the display board for my armies and tournaments because it just makes it easy to carry them around. Um, uh, people were using like cafeteria trays so over time, they started getting more and more crazy with how they looked. Uh, I started building like castles and, and rivers of blood. And then I started adding lights and sound and motion. Um, <clears throat> and nowadays, it's a staple when you go to any tournament to have all the best painted armies on really elaborate, glowing display boards with steam and all kinds of fun stuff. So, um, where does that bring me right now? Uh, I'm going to go back to my old standby and go with a, a simple bulletin board look. Um, I'm going to get a bigger one than this. This is only, like I said, uh, 23 by 17 outer dimensions. I want 24 inch inner dimensions. 
because uh, I got myself some more pink board. I'm going to go basically with the same concept of the irradiated round look. And uh, I'm going to cut this down to fit in the inner dimensions. Kind of raise it up a little bit. <clears throat> so I still have this nice framed little look on the outside, but a lifted up you know, area. I'll have the, the craters, maybe a crevice with more lights underneath there uh, with that soft glow again. I'm going to try to get 3D printed some Tyrion Spires um, just for a little bit of decoration because there's some basics you always want to kind of go with with a display board. One of them being a variety in, in uh, height and terrain. So I, what I usually tend to go with for my um, basics is like in the back corners I'll put a little raised section that's higher than the rest of it just to elevate some of the models to create uh, cascading height. And, um, you know, the lighting nowadays, it's, it's so easy to put it in, why not, right? So, uh, you know, keep it simple is the name of the game here because I don't have a lot of time. But also, you don't really want the display board to overpower your army. And, um, frankly, I don't, you know, I don't think my army is going to be a best painted army uh, this time. It's been a long time and most of my army is sanguinary guard and they just don't look great uh gold is really hard to do and to paint them all non-metallic gold which is basically what you have to do if you want to try to win best painted with gold um it, it would take like 10 hours per model and there's we're talking like 220 hours of painting time just to get the the layered effect um for, for the non-metallic gold so uh i i'm not s supremely confident in this army uh, as far as a best painted win, but I'm going to go for it. We'll see. Um, basically, now that I've kind of abandoned this crazy thing I have going on, I'm going to go with uh, focus what time I have left, about 10 days, uh, on just painting my army top notch and getting it ready to, as, as good as it can, um, which I'm going to focus on now with my videos going forward. So uh, that's it for my display board. Catastrophe just fell apart. This stuff, the, 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 clay I had was just not really great quality for what I was trying to do um, and, and I just realized instantly that this was not going to happen. My sad little uh, display makes me cry. <laughs> <coughs> so I got that annoying cough hanging around. So now my mission is to get myself a suitable sized uh, a bulletin board that fits what I want. And I'm going to look on Amazon. I went to Staples and they didn't have anything my size. You know, I'm looking for, I wanted to find at least a 24-inch internal space, a 24-inch window. Because uh, that would match the width of my 24-inch pink board I have here. And then all I have to do would, would be to trim it down to like probably 18. Like 18 by 24 window. Um, which would be the size I need because I do have a lot of models. Um, so, I'm not really seeing that, you know as a standard on Amazon. Um, I gotta make some decisions here real quick and, and figure out what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna order one up on Amazon and get that delivered and uh, put it together. Now that I have a more subdued plan, it shouldn't take me very long to finish it up. So I will get back to you on that. And here we are, that's the end of this little series. The next series will be me uh, doing display board part two. <laughs> all right i'll see y'all soon i'm gonna do some work on my models and i'll bring you the camera over i'll make a separate bunch of videos for that so all right uh more to come i'll see you soon Bye bye